What's up guys? Today's video is on the Cobra Snakebite Golf Wedges Review 2023. Cobra may not be the first brand you think of when looking for a new set of wedges. However, you should not be hasty in dismissing these clubs. Compared to some of the best wedges released in 2023, the Cobra Snakebite performs just as well in dry and wet conditions, which I had the pleasure of discovering. Cobra has introduced a new face milled blast in order to maintain spin rates in wet conditions and increase spin by 50% over the previous model. Aesthetics of a club are an important aspect for most golfers, and these wedges certainly tick that box in both the satin and QPQ finish. The wedge is very refined and simplistic I am sure will be to the liking of many golfers. At address, the club sits very square and invitingly behind the ball. The shape is reminiscent of the popular Cleveland RTX 6 zip core wedge. Perhaps the only element of the club's aesthetics which could be off-putting is the notch on the back of the club, which is in the center or heel depending on lock. The versatile notch on the 58 and 6 dig enhances performance on open face shots and allows for the sole to glide quicker through impact increasing launch and improving spin. The ultra-precise CNC milled snakebite grooves provide a soft feel along with maximized spin and performance. The snakebite groove technology incorporated in these wedges delivers progressive spin technology to optimize spin and control when playing full shots, pitching and chipping. From 48 dig to 54 dig the narrow deep grooves are 40% sharper and 3% deeper than the older generation. Wide shallow grooves feature in the 56 dig to 6 dig wedges which are also 40% sharper and 19% deeper than its predecessor. Knowing how many and which wedges to carry is imperative to giving yourself the best chance to score well. Around the greens I found success with these wedges, especially out of the bunker and rough, credit for this has to go to the full face grooves and not my talent. As someone who prefers wedges with traditional groove, I prefer the less lofted wedges visually. Despite not being a massive fan of the full face grooves I was certainly able to see the benefits they had on my short game, specifically out of the sand and tall grass. Having well tested these wedges I would say the full face grooves found on the 56 dig to 6 dig wedges would benefit a whole host of golfers in improving their short game and helping them to spin the ball around the green. Moving away from the green, I found distance control incredibly easy to gauge when playing fuller shots and pitching. I also found it fairly easy to manipulate the ball flight, which made playing with these wedges very enjoyable, and noticed they were some of the best wedges for chipping. As someone who doesn't always get on too well with their wedges the Cobra Snake Bites felt good, looked good and performed well. What more could you ask for? With these wedges being available in a range of lofts, and a selection of bounces and grinds they can easily challenge some of the most popular wedges like the Titleist SM9s and the Ping Glide 4.0 wedges for a place in your bag. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, and if you have something to say, please leave a comment.